European Union accuses INEC of lack of transparency, but sues for peace. Welcome to today's news. Thank you for tuning in to this news. But you can as well subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. The news totals. The European Union support to democratic governance in Nigeria. EU SDGN Phase 2. Urge agreed to Nigerians to maintain peace following the announcement of the presidential result by the Independent National Electoral Commission. We call that INEC had on March 1st declared Tenumbu of the whole Progressive Congress, APC, President elect, saying it pulled the total of 8,794,726 votes. The electoral umpire also said Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, got 6,984,520, while Peter will be of the Labour Party, Helpy, garnered 6,101,533 votes. But while the coalition by Heineck was ongoing, the European Union Election Observation Mission to Nigeria 2023 said it observed an alleged lack of transparency in the early and critical stage of the presidential election process, particularly the failure of the electoral umpire to immediately upload the results from polling units to the Heineck results viewing portal, HiRev, through the Bimodal Verification Accreditation System, BIVAS. The Labour Party, People's Democratic Party, and the African Democratic Congress had to boycott the coalition in Abuja and called for the cancellation of the presidential election. But Heineck was un undeterred and eventually announced Tinumbu as the winner of the presidential polls and has since given him a certificate of return. On Thursday, EU SDGN sued for peace in the country. Keep the peace after elections, it tweeted. Also, the EU ambassador to Nigeria and ECOWAS, Samuela Isopi, promised to support Nigerians' democracy in the best way possible. We commit to continue supporting the consolidation of the democratic process in Nigeria with our technical support, observation, and political engagement, Isopi stated. The European Union has accused INEC of lack of transparency. Now, the reason why they were accused was that the INEC chairman already promised that during the election, until the election is uploaded on Beavers to high ref the result will not be announced. But during the election, the, the European Union noticed that in the, some of the polling units, most of the polling units, the people could not upload their results, making use of the beavers, and that is where the issues started coming in. Different parties started coming up that we are not going to agree to this. Nigerians were not satisfied with the results but when the coalition was going on in Abuja the parties APC, PDP, pardon, PDP, LP and other parties had to work out and saying this is not the result we have the real fact with us this is not the real result why are you trying to give us a fake result but the EU has told Nigerians that they should maintain peace. Although we know that the results are fake, we know that they have there are controversies, but we have to maintain peace to make sure that everything works out fine. And to admonish the INEC chairman, you've announced the winner, fine, but you need to ensure that peace win in Nigeria. Ashwajubala Metumubu, who had 
8 million plus votes and the PDP and LP has 6 million plus votes and each one of them covering 12 states but the Labour Party Peter will be covered 12 states including FCT and that is why the people are like no following the section 134 which says the candidate must have 25 percent of the states and FCT not saying FCT as a state not saying FCT as a state but FCT standing alone and the Labour Party and other parties are saying we are going to meet in court because we know this is not the real results from the European Union election observations mission they noticed that the February 25th polls lacked transparency although the election was held as scheduled it lacks transparency during the critical stage of the electoral process because on the election day some of the high officials came very late they they, 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 they they came late to the polling units and some also came with beavers machine that was not functioning and they were unable to upload their results this is we need the, the nigeria needs transparency the level of violence suppressed voters turnout during the election suppression of voters is a serious issue to the rate of inclusiveness in the election and they have taken note of that the chief observer andrew barry noted that INEX operational capacity was hampered by ongoing fraud and never shortage adding that insecurity hindered the commission from assessing some council areas across the country according to Ashwad, eh, pardon, Ashwad, according to the ex-president Ulusha Gobato Jowo said this is imperative to save the country from looming danger and disaster the just concluded election has been having a lot of talk to talk, say to talk about because nigerians are not happy with the results the international bodies are also saying that there is no transparency everything is not working out the way they promised but the european union are admonishing nigerians to embrace peace and know that everything will be fine we have come to the end of the news thank you for always tuning in Kindly don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Do have a nice day.